Hi everyone, welcome to Tangle with Tracy Ann. In today's video, I'll be drawing a zen kind of a pond and then I'll show you how to create a water effect. For today's project, I'm using a 3.5 inch square tile, a pencil, a Micron 01, a white jelly roll pen. I'm also going to use a water brush to activate my pencils. These Derwent Inktense pencils arrived today, so I haven't had time to play with them yet. I've been watching lots of videos on them, so bear with me and let's hope it all works. <laughs> If you don't have any ink tense pencils, use whatever materials you happen to have on hand. It'll all work. The main water part at the end is with the white gel pen. So I'm just putting a very light coat of this blue. And you can see I'm doing it in patches. I want this to look a little bit watery. Once you activate this ink tense pencil, because it's ink, it's not like watercolour, it's permanent. And if it's looking a little bit uneven, don't panic too much about it. Because I can come back in and touch up that blue. And I'll show you how I do that in a moment. Now I can get my pencil and actually use it directly. So just place my brush on that tip of the pencil and you can see I can add little bits of extra colour where I need it to be.
I've colored this pattern with three shades of green and also I've used a light touch you could always come in and add more so when I activate this start from the lightest color work your way down to the darker color and you can always push and pull this either way move the darker up into the lighter or push it back down I'm going to touch up these greens now like I did before by taking pigment straight from the pencil. I'll touch up the rest later. Now I'm going to colour in the Indirella with these yellow and orange colours. Because Inktense pencils are ink, they're permanent and once they're dry, they won't move. So if this was watercolour, when I activate these yellows, it could get a little bit muddied by the blue. But if my blues are completely dry with these ink tense pencils it will never muddy the yellow using my white gel pen i'm going to loosely follow those areas that i put in originally when i did the patches of blue notice i'm going completely over those indirella fish So just sort of make your way around and it looks like the glistening of water. I picked out this grey from the box. I tested out all the colours but I didn't test this one. It's a little bit dark. Um, so I'll just try and dab it with a tissue a little bit and make it a little bit softer. I'll persevere with this, but I should have used a, a much lighter grey. You can see that I'm just putting bits of shadow under the fish and also under those bits of white, only on one side. So it looks like it's reflecting down and causing a shadow on the bottom of the pond.
So here's my finished Zentangle Pond. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, do that so that you don't miss out on future videos. And if you'd like to share your work in my Facebook group, there's a link below this video. Thank you for watching and until next week, stay safe and bye for now. If you'd like to see more of my videos, head over to my YouTube channel or there are a couple of links here on the screen. And while you're here, hit that subscribe button.